Welcome to J2 Disc Golf. My, my name is J Day, and this video is ranking all the colors off infinitedisc.com, plus a few uh, additional ones I added into the list. Um, this list is on tiermaker.com. I will add the just link in the description below. Uh, by day, I am a I am a graphic designer, so I don't want to say I'm an expert with colors, but I have to have I think I have a good grasp on what is more effective as a color for disc golf. So as you probably have known, when you're throwing disc, it can get buried under leaves or when you're trying to track it in the sky, certain colors are better than others. And the fact that some color options exist for disc golf uh, make me laugh a little bit. That's why there is a trash tier in this list. Um, so if you decide to make this list yourself, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter and I'll be happy to critique your listing but there's 32 options i believe on this list so let's get right into the video all right i'm gonna do no face cam for this one but so let's start with uh some of the trash ones get the trash ones out of the way so brown get it trash camo trash clear we'll put it at the top of trash but if you're look if you're throwing a clear disc there's a good chance you will never find it if it's buried in leaves or you're trying to track in this guy copper it's a little bit brighter than the brown, so we'll put it above that. Um, gold looks a little bit cleaner, so I, I think that I prefer the copper. Where's some other trash ones? Tan, trash, put it above camo, I guess. Uh, Alright, there might be more trash ones in here, but we'll get back to it when we see it. Um, so let's just go down the list now. Black, I'm going to put this in meh. I think, I think black is a good disc for a putter. Maybe at a throwing putter, but it, I feel like it's very hard to see, as, especially if it's darker and if you're throwing in a wood, of course. So, put this in meh. I could be swayed to put this in average, though. Blue green, a lot of the blues and pinks will probably get put up towards the top just because I feel like blue is great to see in wood, of course, and then green is great to see when you're throwing it in the sky. So, blue gray. I think this is not as good as blue green, so we'll put this in pretty good. Blue pink. Um, we'll put this in amazing. I think I, li I like this color combo. Blue purple. Um, yeah, we'll just put this right behind blue gray. Blue red will also be in the pretty good tier. Actually, put this to the average. I think this could be better, honestly. Dark blue. Probably not going to hate me this far. I'm going to put this in mad tear. I think this like really solid dark blue is not ideal for a disc. Forest green, we'll put it right next to blue. Now, this is one where it's kind of up for debate on what kind of glow it is. This is obviously the Axiom or MVP uh, glow, and they obviously have a great glow. And just to kind of keep it in the middle, because it all depends on the glow, we'll put it in average. Now, gray, I think I saw silver in here as well. Yeah, silver. So I think the silver would be better, but we're going to put these in meh. Because I definitely would prefer a black disc, but they're still not great colors. Now, light blue, um, we're putting in pretty good. However, I think do I want to put. The, I think the variations of the blue were stand out a little bit more. Light green. Um, I think this is going to probably stay towards the bottom and average, but I think light green is a solid disc overall. Now, light yellow will probably sit around the top of the meh. I just, I, I think in, like, a leafy climate, this might not be the best disc to throw. Now, maroon, uh, it sucks, because I don't think maroon's a great color for a disc. However, this picture kind of is selling me on, like, possibly throwing one. Uh, well, this right in between the forest green and blue, I think, in the mint here. All right, mint. These, I mean, this blue, green, and mint all almost look identical, but and mint is a perfect color, especially when you're throwing it in a wooded area. Now, off-white and white, I think clear white is going to be an average disc, and you can't go wrong with a white disc, especially if you're a dyer as well, but I used to putt with white putters, so. And then off-white will go right under it. I think they're pretty much one-to-one. -one. Now, orange pick, I like this, like, lighter pink orange compared to this, like, darker orange, so I'm going to say light orange pink will be in the pretty good, but I think I'll put dark orange in the average. Right in behind the glow. So we got that like hot pink color. Uh, this is almost too vibrating for me, but 
I think this will stand out. So we'll put this right in front of the white. Yeah, purple pink, I think this is an automatic S tier. I think I'd honestly put this above the blue green. Eh, we'll put it. Alright, what? Put it there. I think the blue green is a, is a little bit higher above it. So we got like a solid purple. I think this is goes. We'll put this beyond the whites. I think the whites stand out more, in my opinion, when I'm picking a disc. So. Now, red orange. I like this color. It's almost closer to a, like a pure pink when I think of a pink disc. Uh, I think this is bottom up pretty good. Now, red pink is a little bit lighter than the actual like darker red you see here. So, we'll probably put this, put this in front of the orange. I don't think it's a pretty good disc, but I think it's a pretty average. And I think the red will probably be put in front of the maroon. Yeah, I think the red will go in front of the maroon. Probably not a great disc in the, what's it called, for leafy conditions, but pretty good in the sky. Now, it's like yellow green, I think, is probably going to be the very last thing I put in this amazing gear. Just because I have a nuke that kind of similar in this color, it, it just stands out a lot. Especially even in a leafy condition, you probably still spot this out. Uh, yellow orange. Um, I think this will be the top of the average. I want to put this in pretty good, but I don't think it's a pretty good disc. And yellow is eh, such a rough disc. I think about the bottom and average. Now, kind of want to clean this up, see if there's anything I can move or move up or down. Um, you know, I'm going to put the, the grays and the silvers in the trash here. I think they're just better colors. I think all these colors are cool and they have their own purpose, but I just don't think they're necessarily a color I need on a disc. Um, and I want to move, since I have most of the solid colors down here, I'm going to move the yellow and the purple into the mat here, but they'll be at the top of it. And then, I do think, actually, I think yellow-orange could make a pretty good tier. I think it's a solid color. It stands out enough in the sky, but also could be pretty good in a, and, uh, you know what, here's what I'm going to do. I think just because of the MVP glow, I want to glow to pretty good. And, and I'm going to move blue pink down to the bottom and move up yellow green. I think that's, I feel pretty good about this. So that's the list. Thanks again for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section below and I'd be happy to answer it. Uh, I know this is an opinion-based list, so obviously mine might differ from yours, but I'm sure we can all be constructive about our criticisms. Um, please feel free to follow me on Instagram or Twitter and drop a like and subscribe. All that fun, jazzy stuff when they tell you on YouTube. So thanks again. Bye-bye.